slow it down, cold out When you turn your back on me Feels like we've reached the point of no return now Welcome back to my channel. I know I do not look cute at all right now, but if you guys saw in the first little opening clip, I was pouring a glass of wine. I hope you guys will have one with me tonight. Grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's kind of unwind for the night. I've been asked to do kind of my skincare routine or some self-care things, so I figured I would do my quarantine self-care nightly routine. I'm gonna show you guys how I blow out my hair. I did a video on this already, but it was like a test and review of a product, so I'm gonna re-show you guys how I do at-home blowouts, and I'm also gonna show you guys all the products that I use and some other self-care things along the way too. Okay, so here is the first product I put in my hair. This is the BC Bonicure Hair Therapy Repair and Rescue. It's just a leave-in conditioner from Amazon. I am going to link it down below in my Amazon favorites in the hair products. It's a Swartz Cough Professional is the brand. So just put like that much. And I concentrate it on my ends because anything near my roots, my hair is kind of uh, normally more greasy. So I just try to concentrate it on my ends and it smells super good so i really really love this and i want more of a sleek look this week i want my hair to be kind of pin straight i've been having a bit of a hard time getting that even though i'll probably curl it on like day two and then the next thing i'm going to put in is just a couple drops like a couple drops not a ton of the keratin smooth this is anti-frizz perfectly detangle silky shine soft yell tames flyaways shine serum so i'm going to put like a couple drops like two drops that's it put it in between my fingers and we are going to again just put it towards like the ends maybe kind of towards the top with like whatever's left over because it does tame flyaways and I kind of have problems with that so we have our product in our hair make sure whatever you're using you're not using too much and if it's the first time you're using it don't use a lot because you don't know how your hair is going to take it I figured this might be beneficial too because a lot of us are used to getting blowouts at the salon every four to six weeks when we get our hair treated and colored and we have lost that luxury. Section my hair, I get my clips at the dollar store and they're perfect. I love them, I think they're stylish and cute and I wear them all the time. In one of my Instagram photos recently, I styled my hair with it and I just thought it was so cute. And I feel like 90s is in a little bit right now. So I am going to put my hair up about halfway and I'm only gonna leave this much. Let me see if I can angle you guys down at all. So you really can't see it, but I'm gonna just like leave this much and make sure you have like a real brush and you're not really trying to use the hot blow dryer just to brush it out. And you're gonna take it section by section and you're gonna start blow drying. Okay, so I start off just sectioning the little sections and using a very specific motion to get the curled under look that I want. I know I'm no hairstylist, so I have a hard time explaining what I'm doing, but I figured you guys could learn a lot if you don't know or if you're just starting out by watching me. So you guys can see the motions that I'm using to create like the curled under look. Okay, so you guys can see that that blew it out pretty good. I want to round the bottom off more, so I'm going to run it through the bottom with like the round brush and kind of angle it in like this, if you can see. You guys can see that it does take a little while. We're properly styling our hair with a blow dryer. And just for reference, I have curly hair actually naturally, believe it or not. Um, it has kind of like gotten a lot longer so that doesn't necessarily change anything about it but if i were to fall asleep with my hair wet i have very curly hair so this helps me just kind of style my hair and it's going to be really full with like a bounce and a really styled curled edge this is a 60 dollars product i want to say but it might be on sale sometimes it's like 47 i think i bought it for at target and i'm going to link it down below but just so that you guys can see for reference because i know a lot of us are doing this stuff for the very first time i did speed through a lot of this so if you guys feel like this is going faster than it would with you i would say the whole process takes me about 30 minutes total to get the perfect blowout with this product i do curl under for the most part but you will see me like 
almost straightening it. You see how I was using the blow dryer to just like dry down instead of curling certain parts because the top I just want dry. My hair is so thick that I will just, you know, use it almost like a straightening iron. I finished that half. I actually need to tie this back again. You guys look how beautiful I am. So I'm gonna tie this back again with a clip. And then I'm going to take like the front half of this. I'll let this fall. Take the front half of this and separate it again. You guys, the sun is making me so sad. Like, I just want to get outside. <laughs> how are you guys doing? Please leave down below how you guys are doing in quarantine because I would love to know. Seriously, I need to know how you guys are all doing. I have more of my hair dry here and I'm just doing the same motions for the top. This part is definitely more tricky though because you have more hair down. You can even section off the bottom part if you're very new to this. That way you can just focus on the wet parts because it can get a little bit overwhelming having to blow dry so much hair. I'm going to brush out all of the hair that I've already done so far. I'm not kidding, as soon as I start talking, neighborhood dogs start barking. Do birds start chirping in unison like we live in Snow White. I think I live in the area of Snow White. So I'm gonna take down this part of my hair and actually this is the most important part which is just the front section and it's a small part. So I focus really heavily on this on making sure that I'm blowing it out properly. This is where all of my highlights are still alive and while I know if you guys are blonde as well then you probably feel this yourself with like all of your highlights fading away but I'm going to blow out this part again this part is the most important part to really like blow out the right way so we're almost done we are starting off with the top of the hair and I always say that this part is the most important because this is the front of your hair and it's what everybody sees so I always try to really make sure that I am blowing this part out, doing the curling motion, really taking my time with it because if you do do a really good job with this part and no other parts, it will show and it will look good. So I liked it. So I was dancing around a little bit there. Like you guys see me do a lot in these voiceovers, but I just find that if you take extra time on the front part of your hair, you know what? It, that's all that people really see. You could throw the rest of it in a hair tie, in a a clip and call it a day so I'm definitely focusing a lot of it and you guys can see that I'm just going to dry down use it almost as a straightener or a normal blow dryer and try to get all of the wet parts because like I said my hair is so thick it's really hard to make sure that I get all of the parts dry and you don't want to leave any of them wet this is it there's definitely still a couple pieces that are damp because they just are really thick hair it might not necessarily look like it right off the bat but I have very, very thick hair. So it actually feels really good. I don't feel like I necessarily have to, I can't stop touching it now. Okay, I need to stop. I don't feel like I necessarily have to do any straightening or anything like that. I can pretty much leave this and go. It will be a little frizzy, but if you use the right products, you'll be fine. So if you guys were looking for a tutorial to help you blow dry your hair in quarantine because you haven't had a hair appointment in three months, my last hair appointment I think was beginning of February, which is like on the list of important things, it's like zero, but I'm just saying. My hair appointment was supposed to be beginning of April, I was like, oh, let's push it a little bit, just push it a little bit. And it was literally the week that all salons closed in New York State. So that was my luck. If I would have done like one week earlier, this hair would probably be freshly blonde, but that's okay. I've been rocking the brand look for a little while now. I would say for at least a couple years, two to three years, I've been brand, which means I'm mostly brown I feel like in my roots and everything I just kind of get some highlights to brighten me up so I think that's worked out in my favor so far so, but I just went to go put some pasta on the stove it was like rigatoni and I just put the water in the little pan and I was disgusted I don't know do you guys ever go to eat something and you think it sounds good and then it comes time to almost eat it and you're just like Ugh. Okay, so instead, I'm going to cook some great value chicken strips, okay? These are in the freezer. I don't know what I'm exactly going to be doing, but I'm going to cook those. I'm going to cook some broccoli, some bird's eye, because that also sounds really, really good. 
and while this is all cooking I'm going to vacuum okay so the chicken tenders are done they actually look really good to me for some reason I'll probably either eat them with like barbecue sauce probably I think that's what I'm feeling but I have to let them cool and so is my broccoli I know this is the most random dinner you may have ever seen I filmed no ending for this video so this is it the end if you guys made it this far give it a big thumbs up thank you so much for watching this random vlog and I hope you guys had a great weekend Thank you.